It's only game. Why you have to be mad? How perfect. How perfect Mushi, Aurora, and Alvinor fit together. How perfect. It's it's exceptional. It's exceptional how well they uh, they work together as far as leveling their artifacts. Let me tell you what I mean. So the order to level up Mushi's artifacts, the order of priority, and this is according to uh, Tim, is one, two, three. So Wand of Growth first, uh, Tomb of Arcane Knowledge second, and Ring of Intelligence third. All right, so if you're trying to level up Mushi and Shroom's artifacts, that's the order that you want to spend your artifact coins on as far as buying fragments. Now, as far as leveling using the uh, the artifact metals, the artifact scrolls, and the artifact essences, it really dovetails very nicely into the uh, into the nature trinity of Aurora and Alvinor. All right, so if... Mushi and Shroom's artifact weapon is a priority for her, right? The book is a priority for Aurora. And the ring is a priority for Alvinor, right? So it actually works out really, really nicely. If you're building a Wave Nature team from scratch and you're using those three heroes as a core, you throw all of your artifact essences onto Mushi and Shroom, you throw all of your artifact scrolls onto Aurora, and you throw all of your artifact metals onto Alvinor, you level up that way. Like, I'll dump all of my artifact essences into the wand here. Whoops, okay, that's good. And then I'll go over to Aurora and put everything here. If I had some to put there, I would. And then finally, the uh, uh, the hero Alvinor, wherever you are, Alvinor. Level up Aurora, uh, Alvinor's um, ring. They work very nicely together. Very nicely, very nicely. Unfortunately, we've got two intelligence heroes and a strength hero. Uh, so you're going to have to fight over skin stones a little bit. But, you know, with Alvinor not having all four of his skins yet, and Mushi and Strumi only having the default skin, it kind of kind of works out okay. But the stat priority for Mushi and Shroom, kind of like what I was getting at with the whole conversation here, the, uh, the stat priority for leveling Mushi and Shroom, you know, it's pretty straightforward for the skin because there's only the default skin. So we take a look at the glyphs. <clears throat> Uh, you want to start with armor, health, and then magic attack, and then you move into magic defense and intelligence last, in order of priority. Now, as a damage dealer, I'm hesitant to level up health at all on Machine Shroom, but all of their abilities are modified by the total health. Perfect copies modified by a good chunk of health, the uh, um, uh, branching uh, mushroom stamps, have uh, modified by 10% health and magic attack. Of course, mage, you're all right. Rotting Seeds is just based on magic attack with a little bit of health for the damage over time. I'm sorry, for the extra damage, I should say. And then finally, Wild Growth. This is based on uh, health and magic attack as well. So if you're curious about the leveling priority for stats for Mushi and Shroom, there you go. There you go.